Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, and as you can see, I am wearing the Tessa Bear pink merch, which I'm going to link in the description. Um, if you want to get yours, you can just click the link and it will take you straight to the website. And yeah, you should get it because it's hella cute and it's so comfy. So the first thing I'm going to apply is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. Um, I love this primer. I've used it for quite a while now. I think this is my third bottle. Um, and I'm going to apply it with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Um, and I'm just going to dab that on and then blend it around the areas that I need it most, which is normally um, in my T-zone and um, on my chin. So I am going to do my eyes while the primer sets in. And I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Soap X palette. I am in love with this palette. Um, and I'm going to take the brownie shade and the orangey shade from up here I'm going to mix those two together with my unicorn style brush and then I'm going to blend it all over my lid I'm going for quite a pinky look today because I feel like Valentine's Day is a good day to wear pink or red of course so I'm going to blend on top of that I'm going to blend in this pink shade down here and this more purpley mauvey shade over here um, and I'm going to blend them until I like what I see basically um, and I'm blending that in the crease just to give a little bit of colour okay so now that I've blended it to how I want it I'm going to take the rose gold shade the glittery one from down here and I'm going to use a bit of the MAC Prep and Prime and then I'm going to take it on a flat brush and I'm going to dab that in there and then I'm going to put the glitter over the top of the colour um, and it's like a rose gold purpley shade and I this really mascara, like it. and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris waterproof mascara which looks like this I love the packaging of this um, and you do step one and then step two and I'm going to use my mirror to apply that fill my eyebrows in and I'm going to use my Soph palette again and I'm going to take the darker brown shade over here and I'm going to fill in my brows with that. I'm sorry if I keep looking at the mirror, it's because I didn't bring down my makeup mirror um, because it would have been just too much mess. Um, so I have to use this mirror so I apologise if I keep looking this way. I don't always fill in my eyebrows but I feel like sometimes you just need a little bit of brow going. So I just brushed out my brows with a spoolie. I'm now going to go on to concealer which is of course my collection Lasting Perfection in the shade 1 Fair. This is my absolute favourite like I'd be so lost without this concealer. <laughs> it's my absolute favourite so, thing. To blend the concealer and I'm going to use the Real Techniques um, complexion sponge which I also really really love um, and it's really good for concealer and foundation so for foundation I'm going to use my L'Oreal Total Infallible Cover that is not the name it's Infallible Total Cover sorry I read that backwards for some reason but yeah this foundation is my absolute favourite I've been through about four bottles of these um, and I've got it in the shade 10 Porcelain because I'm quite pale so this is the lightest one they do and it's a really great shade for me um, and I love the finish of the foundation hello um, and it's so good and it really does cover everything so. to blend in the foundation I'm going to use the Real Techniques complexion sponge again Okay, so foundation is done. Um, I'm now going to do my powder, which I've been using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade 4 Beige. Um, and I love this powder, as you can see I've used a lot of it already. And I'm just going to use the Real Techniques Powder Brush and blend that all over my face so that my face stays matte. 
I do also use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but I've recently switched to this one because it's now my favourite powder. My face is now done, so I am going to do contour and highlight next, and I'm going to use my Makeup Obsession palette, which as you can tell is very well loved. I still need to fill this gap, um, but Makeup Obsession is actually one of my favourite brands. Um, these inserts were about £3 each, and the eyeshadows are £2 each from Boots, and honestly, these contour and highlights, oh, they're so good. So I'm going to apply the two contours mixed together, which is um, light, medium, and medium which I really like to mix together um, and then I'm just gonna blend it I'm gonna put a bit on my forehead and on my double chin <laughs> gotta get that double chin guys okay next is highlight which is my favourite part because I just love highlighter and I'm gonna take the two at the top which is um, Pearl and Mars and I just love the names of them they're really good highlights actually I put it on the tops of my cheekbones and also down the nose and also on the cupid's bow and on the chin um, and that is the highlight done I love this highlight so much I quickly blend it a little bit more just so that I don't look so so popping <laughs> Okay, so everything on my face is done. So the last thing that we need to do is add a lipstick. Now, I am loving the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. And the one that I'm loving at the moment is called Smoky Rose. And it's number 987. And it's a really nice pink with like a purpley undertone. It's a really, really nice shade. So I'm going to just apply this. Okay, so to finish off, you could like curl your hair or straighten it or whatever. I'm just going to leave mine up in a ponytail, but I'm also going to finish off with a bit of the Ghost Eclipse perfume. Oh my god, this smells amazing and I also love the packaging. Like, look how cute that is. How cute is that? It's like a little moon. So yeah, this was from Boots. I got it for my birthday or Christmas. Birthday or Christmas from my nan. And yeah, I just really love this perfume and it smells so good. Every time she moves on, she says, who else knows? All my friends are blowing up my phone. Something's telling me. No. Okay guys, that is the finished look. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will link Tessa's merch in the description and also the link to Jessie's YouTube because I really want to get Jessie unbanned from Musical.ly so if you could also use the hashtag UnbannedJessieUnderhill in all your Musical.ly's and also follow me on Musical.ly I will leave that in the description too um, I love you guys so much um, and I will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up bye guys <laughs> Okay, contour, done, please. And also follow me on Musical.ly, I will leave that in the... Uh, um, and yeah, it's a really great powder, actually. I would really... Uh, 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 uh.